Hey everybody, this is Adam Bomb with Adam Bomb Breaks, and from the background, you can tell what's about to go down, maybe. New releases, that means we got to talk about the new releases. This is going to be the finest video ever. Let's go! Top's Finest released last Friday. It's been a week. I was on vacation, kind of, I guess. It was vacation. Took vacation from work, so I guess that's what it counts as. And it came out, so we need to review it. A little late, but a little uh, late better than never. So what are we going to look at? We're going to look at what's in the set. What can I expect from a box? Uh, this is a hobby-only product. How much of this did they produce? How rare are the base cards? What are the hit odds? What are the auto odds per box? What's the non-numbered uh, uh, short prints? What are they actually numbered to? We can figure it out, and we have lots of cool stuff that we have that you won't really find anywhere else. So stick around. Uh, first thing, yeah, yeah, there's the card, there's the box. And what's in the box? There's 12 packs per master box. That means there's too many boxes in this just like always. Five cards per pack with eight box cases. Uh, stated, you get the two autos per master box, that's one per box, and two refractor parallels as well. 18 colored parallel rainbow for the base card. There is Francisco Alvarez on the blue. Uh, so, sky blue? I think that's blue. Yeah, because sky blue is higher. So you have refractor, sky blue, purple, Blue Aqua Vapor, they introduced that last year. Aqua, Aqua Shimmer, Blue, Green, Green Lava, Green Sparkle, Rose Gold, Gold. There's Gold Mini Diamond. Even though they don't give you the odds on it, we ex assume that the odds are about the same as the Gold. And they're on eBay, but they're not listed. So, Orange, also Red Black Vapor, Red, Purple Pink Vapor, and Refract. So, Let's look at what's inside, okay? That, that's the base. What about the inserts? Inserts are pretty cool in these. There's four insert sets. Two of them are rare, like short prints or even rarer than that, okay? Four base sets have the Kintsukuroi, black and gold, and red and gold, which is interesting. They used to be red and yellow, uh, but they are listed as red and gold. Those are unnumbered, but we give you a number for them, and it actually depends on the insert. Some of them, the uh, black and golds, are actually a lot higher than they have been in the past, which is interesting. They put a lot more in them, basically. Other parallels are gold in the gold mini. In the insert sets, uh, as many diamonds, those are to 50, red to 5, and supers to 1. World's Finest is one, 25 card set. Uh, that is the World Baseball Classic tribute. Everybody is in their... Uh, garb for whatever team they played for. Finest headliners, rivalries, uh, kind of similar. Rivalries are all die cut, They're horizontal cards. Uh, headliners is also a bigger set. It's 20 cards versus the 10. Um, but it, they both include bets, retired players, and they're all top players, basically. Uh, there's the rookie designs yearly offering. Instead of putting the little two dots that people would mistakenly not realize they have a rookie variation, they made it evident now uh, they change the top and bottom borders uh and there's 20 cards in this and it, it's all the good rookies basically and some not so good now here are the short prints let's go chrome 10 cards this is a short print uh rookies and stars basically uh red to five and supers to one diamond finest super super short print these are very very hard to get over a thousand packs uh, on the odds uh, rookies and stars again and same uh, but the base are to five and then the supers are to one and we'll actually put a number to the let's go chrome so if you get a base one you'll know what it's basically numbered to here's some uh, looks at these cards if you haven't seen them yet I really like the uh, Acuna over there uh, the rookies design yeah it's okay headliners me but I really like these three the 
Diamond Finest. You can see that's just the base card number to five of Soto. Instead of saying like Topps Chrome or something like that. It just looks really cool. I really like it. Instead of saying Topps Finest. And then also the Let's Go. They had those in uh, Big League. So I'm a little leery of that because they're hard to tell the difference. If you see a Big League version and you see one of these, it's hard to tell the difference. All right, let's look at the autos. Base autos, 92 cards this year, up a little bit. Uh, or actually, I think it's about the same. I think it was 94 last year, so it's 92. Basically the same. Seven other auto sets besides the base autos, five inserts, and then two are going to be short print sets. Uh, 11 color rainbow for the base autos. It's blue, green, green wave, gold, gold wave. Again, gold mini diamonds. Orange, orange wave, red, red wave, and super fractal. Uh, the insert sets, this is the rookie design, there's 12 of those, has a pretty big uh, rainbow for those. Blue, green, green wave, gold, gold wave, orange, orange wave, red, red wave, and super fracture. World's finest, 12 of those, headliners, uh, finest moments. Uh, pretty much all the same on the colors, uh, besides moments has a gold, and then the rest have the orange super fracture, red and super fracture. Uh, finest rivalries. Um, they're all numbered to 10. Uh, so, yeah, it is a normal insert set, but it's pretty much short printed. Um, so, really, it's four insert auto sets, but it's five. So you get my point. Then you have the Mystery of Redemptions, which are all numbered to 99. I'm pretty sure it's just one card. Uh, that is the Mystery of Redemption. And then the buybacks. And those are all vets. They're all numbered to 20. Uh, really cool to get those. Those are old cards they bought back their autograph and whatnot. all right let's look at the back of the box or online yeah you know it's still online um and here's some pictures to look at too but just so you know you can go online find all the information there it has pack odds as well as box odds i just kind of cut it off so you've seen the numbers before how i do it basically i take those and i use those to determine uh using the pack odds um, to determine the production and we take out all the outliers it wasn't a ton of outliers maybe five out of the hundred plus different cards that are available in parallels we use so here is what it looked like 60 657 thousand packs plus that gives you uh, almost 55 thousand boxes which gives you 6800 in change cases Standard deviation is pretty good too. So basically, you're looking at a 10% plus or minus, uh, just varying as I did the calculations across all these different things. Um, the sample size was actually good, so um, it's a pretty good standard deviation. Legitimate. Comparing across past years of finest, okay? Just production runs, right? Up about 6%. You can kind of see uh, 2020 uh, 2019 was fairly flat. A um, little bit of an increase there from 18, but it was a huge jump from 16 to 17 up to 18, and then there was a huge jump to 2021, and that's basically where we sit. They're eking it up a little bit, um, but they're also adding a lot more parallels, so it makes the boxes a little juicier. 2021 wasn't that great. 2020 was really good, so it, it tends to make me think that this is going to be nice too. 2020 was really nice. Too, or 2022 excuse me all right other releases for the 2023 year tops finest of course is the least amount there's my boy jazz um but here gives you a little bit of uh eye candy to what hobby series one looked like almost 300,000 boxes they cut it less than half for series two bowman was even less of hobby that is and then Heritage was even less. So Heritage was surprising to me. I thought they would produce a lot more hobby than that. I never produced a hobby or a Heritage video. I might now that all the Megas are out and that we know what all the different formats are. Um, sometimes you really don't know. What is the total cards produced? Three million base cards. Ah, eh. Divide that by 100 because there's 100 cards in the set means 30,000 of each card. That's 
really not bad when you look at some of the other stuff. Uh, and this, uh, again, is on a chrome stock. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, your base inserts there, your total autos, your base auto. So half of the autos that are available in Finest are going to be base. And that is how it works out in the boxes. Usually, you'll see that as we go. Uh, inserts. This is uh, how many of each insert there are. Um, yeah. Actually, it's not total cards. It's what the card would be numbered to if you numbered that's kind of misleading there so extended base set there is that so each if you get one of those it's basically numbered to 600 the rookie designs about to 1500 and the finest headliners which is the most prevalent makes sense there's almost 8,000 of each card uh, rivalries is low and there's the let's go chrome so it's basically numbered to 50 finest is the 725 so or 750 what about the production of the insert autos and unnumbered sps it's just a continuation here. Uh, this is your autos. So a base auto is going to be numbered to 650. I don't know why I put uh, Let's Go Chrome on here again. And then I also put the uh, Soto Let's Go Chrome on here. But you can see that e any auto is pretty nice. Um, just because they didn't make a ton of every card. So under 1,000. So it's, it's better than some of the parallels. Quotes that you would get in series two uh, with the new higher numbers, the 799 and 999. I don't know. So. Even more inserts. This is the Kinsukuroi. Now this is always interesting to look at. So uh, the total number of cards, you can see some of those are basically the same, but the world's finest uh, uh, red and gold uh, is five is kind of interesting the headliners the uh, down to 7 105 210 and it looks like I forgot the world's finest on the uh, the, the black and gold so through the magic of editing I'm going to figure out what that is real quick a little longer than a few minutes later okay I was completely wrong they didn't make one. That's why it's not on the list. Oh, well. So there you go. Um, this is what you're looking at right here. The world's finest. That's the lowest print numbers to five. Basically, all the red golds are pretty nice. Um, I have this listed as black gold. But that is red gold. That's down to 14. And if you get a, uh, rivalries, which I've seen several, um, they've made a lot more of those uh, just because it's a bigger set. So. Anyways, there you go. What is the hit odds? Okay. Explain what hit odds are. It's what you want in the pack. It's the short print. It's the rookie autos. Uh, it's the short printed autos. Uh, numbered cards. Case hits, etc. The good stuff. You're not going to get one. Uh, you're going to get some in every box, right? But these are the things that you're really chasing. And you want a good player. in. Um, this is all the information. Basically, you just flip the number that they have on the pack. Or the box, in this case, because it gives you box odds. And you're going to see that for a pack, it's a 42% chance that you're going to get a hit. One of those number cards, you can see everything that I included in here. But, also, uh, you can get a whole box, right? Now, this the whole box is both mini boxes. If you do that, your hit odds are going to be 5. Now, that doesn't include an auto now we'll see that it does include one of the two autos just because there's such a good chance of getting a numbered auto per box uh, or something special like that so there you go that's what you're looking at total autos per box is two actually a little more than two so technically you have a two percent chance of getting three autos in a box so I'm assuming some of these uh, mystery redemptions are going to be additional autos some of these case hit type autos buybacks things like that are going to show up as a third auto uh not too shabby right um non-base autos 93 percent of the time you're going to get a non-base auto so that is any the color the short prints all that good stuff um but let's look at kind of the 
cost per box, okay? You could find it a couple weeks before release in the 190 range. It wasn't hard. Uh, then release day, it was 200, 250, 220. Now it's 250, if not more. If you're buying it at 250, you really should check uh, a different retailer because you can find it in the 225 range. Not trying hard, 230, you can find it. But this tells you that uh, big difference in your cost per hit. Uh, and if you add in that extra auto, because remember, the, if you say they just the hits, one of those is going to be a numbered auto 93% of the time. So $37 all the way up, basically 50 uh, or if you include the auto, 31 to 40 Now, this means that on average, each one of those hits to cover the cost of your box, if you take out all the base, needs to be around 40 to $50 if you're buying on the top end. That's where it gets a little dicey for me. I don't think you're going to be able to do that in most boxes. Uh, yeah. So what do you do? Well, to me, you're going to want to get in break. So let's just kind of go through this 5.1 hits per master box along with two autos and one of them is going to be uh, most of the time a numbered auto which is quite great but the price is like I say it's a little elevated uh, you can find in the $200 range for last year uh, last year's is pretty good um, and right now I, this is kind of high I, I don't remember this ever getting in the 250 range, which I've seen. Um, I remember 230, maybe 240 pretty quick. But then, same as last year, the QC is not that great. I've seen uh, some scratches and print lines on too many cards. Um, now, they are chrome and it happens, but it just feels like it's too much. There's too many. I see a lot less with the Panini product, which um, tops might need to learn from. Uh, but like I said, getting in a break of this, get your team, you know, where they're breaking one, two, three, four, four, you know, that's a half a case or a full case of this. That's probably the best spend of your money and the best chances to get the cards that you might be after if it's something in your team. If you really don't care who you're getting, then great. You know, give it a shot if you can find a good deal on one of these. I would expect these to go down as the new releases come out. As I'm recording, this tribute came out or will be coming out. Um, so give it a shot. Actually, I think it came out today. So, um, realize this is all based on the pack odds, how correct or incorrect they are. These boxes are a little expensive for me. They have big potential and a decent floor. So I'm actually going to get a seven out of 10 on these. I say it's a great break product. Uh, buyer risk on buying the box outright. Uh, if you have the funds, I would buy multiple boxes average might help you out instead of shooting for the moon on one box. Again, they're not extraordinarily expensive, but probably more than a lot of people want to spend and get, you know, $100 plus card. So, um, as always, guys, thank you so much for any support you can give us. If you like the video, push the subscribe button. Help us out. Give us some of that good feedback in the comments. Let us know maybe what you would like to see in some of these videos, some different stats. Uh, thoughts on this one, uh, with thoughts on Finest itself, uh, if it is a product that you enjoy. I really like it. We'll be breaking some of it here on the channel, uh, which we do breaks on Wednesday night. Again, thank you guys so much for any support you can give us, uh, especially those likes. They add up. They give us a lot more exposure. So, And we can do a lot more with the exposure. We can get a little better uh, product. So guys, thank you so much. As always, be kind, be nice to those around you, and peace out.